uh, Robert, thank you very much. Okay, another question from Kung Quyen. She asks, uh, what are the three types of key papers would you suggest? Would they be all empirical or combined between, I guess, empirical and theoretical or review papers? Uh, look, that's a great question and there's no one answer. It, it really depends. Um, it depends on a whole, a whole range of things that um, could, could well be quite idiosyncratic to uh, the topic you're looking at, even the point in time when you, you're doing that topic. So even, you know, if you look at, think about certain papers uh, or areas are, are very mature and other areas are, are quite new, right? So depending on whether, you know, uh, where you land in terms of that, um, it, it, could, it could be very different. It, the, the nature, you know, the core idea that you have in mind. So, so let's say uh, your paper uh, is one that is very much um, to do with uh, a critical method. Um, it's probably not the best type of paper for many of us. I mean, but, but let's say it turns out that you think, hey, I've got a, a really good, uh, you know, a good idea and, and, the, and the key thing that I think is uh, going to catch people's attention is I'm, I'm bringing this great new method to, to a question that uh, hasn't really been fully, um, fully resolved. So if, if, if that's the situation, then maybe at least two of the papers, if not all three, they could be chosen, the key papers could be chosen because they are method related. Because what you're trying to do is around the method. But, but that's probably a little atypical, but I, I, I wanted to give you an example where I was trying to show you that it, it, it really does depend. Um, it, it, it may be the case that, um, you know, uh, you might have, you know, one of your papers you choose because it, it, it gives a very recent um, perspective on the theory. And so you've chosen it because it's really the, 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 uh, the best choice for you in terms of theory, let's say. That could be one. You might pick another, choose another one because it's uh, very relevant around the data and the sample that, that you're trying to do. So, so you pick it for that reason. And, and uh, the third one, um, you know, it could be anything. So it, it really is uh, quite up to you in terms of um, your choice. But I suppose, you know, uh, what, what, what you might think of is, is uh, situations to avoid. So, for example, choosing two papers, two of the three papers that are very similar to each other. Um, that, you know, so try and avoid redundancies in, in a sense. Mm -hmm. So the choice of the three should really be those that have some, you know, that they sort of will, will overlap in some meaningful way, but uh, are not too similar to each other. And they're giving different a different recent perspective that you say, yes, well, I've chosen that because of this. I've chosen this one because of something else, and I've chosen this one be because mm -hmm. of a, 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 another thing as well.